the time has come to rank all three It movies. And let me just say this up in front. I know that this is going to be a very divisive list. There are people that say that the one at the bottom is going to be near the top or that the one near the top could be in the middle. Let me just say this is my subject subjective list. Uh, I know that there are people out there that have a lot of nostalgia for the 1990 version. So uh, if you don't like my if you don't like my uh, how I rank them, then that's kind of your fault for tapping on this video. Just remember, this is my purely suggestive list. And if you don't like it, find someone that, that actually does share your opinion, unless it's a really hot take, in which case, good luck finding one that has the same. Thank you all for joining into this, and let's get started talking about the worst. In last place is It Chapter 2. And this was a very unsatisfying conclusion to what happened in 2017 in which we get a not as good sequel to a great remake. And I know that a lot of people are on the defending side of this. I'm not a very big fan of it. Skarsgård is the main standout and he's the only reason it's not a two star and it's now a two and a half star. And I just was not a fan of this movie. It was boring and... It's just very awesome the choices they go in this. Like, the fact is, the film is three hours long. It does not earn its justified time for three hours. The miniseries was barely three hours, was barely more than three hours long, and it combined both chapters. And, and just the way that, that they kill Pennywise is embarrassing. Pennywise is literally non existent in this film. He's almost not, he's almost completely not in the film. They, like, really do a bad job of keeping him in the film. And just, you find out that you spend an hour in a very boring spot going through going through these chapters of the kids finding something. And for the ritual of Chud, Chud, whatever, how you, however you pronounce that awful name. And then you later find out afterwards that it was fake and that it would not work the entire time. So you spent... An hour of runtime, basically just wandering around for no reason, and is one of the most stupid things. And the worst part is that the only reason they did it was because they could get they needed to put Pennywise in it, so they put him in part of it so he feels sho shoehorned in. It's and uh, my main problem with the nineteen ninety miniseries was uh, for the second half was that it felt rushed. This is the complete opposite. It feels the opposite of rushed. It feels too slow. So, just put it all together, it's a bad movie that is boring, and it just really, really disappointed me. In second place is It from 1990, and I do really enjoy this movie. There's a pretty big leap in quality from It Chapter 2 to It 1990, and I can definitely say I do enjoy this movie quite a bit. Mostly the kid side of, of it. The adult's star story is kind of where they go off the rails a bit. I don't know if it's destined for failure or if it's just uh, the fact that it's not executed very well on screen, but uh, this is just a really good example of how you can actually do something a good way from a uh, really a fantastic novel to the actual well, technically kind of uh, big screen, but in a little way, because it was a miniseries, so it, was, it had a TV budget. So when I look at the effects that are pretty dated nowadays, I don't hold them as responsible as I do It Chapter 2, because It, it Chapter 2 had millions of dollars at its, disposable, at its disposal, and it still looked awful. This film had a very small budget and did what it could. So I at least don't blame all of it on it. And Tim Curry is a really good Pennywise. Not my favorite, but he's definitely a good Pennywise. And even though he is a bit goofy, I do think he is. I do think he's 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 decent. I like him. And it's mostly just the fact is he's being a bit too silly for the movie he's supposed to be in. He's supposed to be a child murderer, not a clown. Well, I know there are a lot of people who would say that basically is a child murderer. <laughs> Because if you look online, whew, you can find some clowns that are actually child murderers. Don't look that up. Believe me, you don't want to. And uh, uh, if you, uh, I think that uh, I would definitely say that the kids' side of the story is better. And I didn't think it would be very fun if I actually ranked them. If I ranked the first half of this movie along with the second half of this movie, both in this video... Because if so, they would just be back-to-back, -back, spoiler alert, because I do prefer the second half of uh, the 1990 miniseries over It Chapter 2. But uh, 
Curry's it, Curry's Pennywise is definitely the scene stealer. He's always fun, and it's just a really fun movie that I know that there are some people that say, say it's dated or say it's boring. I've never had that opinion with it, but I, I do think it's pretty good. So if you're someone that does not like it, tell me down below why. But all in all, I still think this I, I think this movie is good. But coming in at first place easily is It from 2017. The remake is one of the few remakes that is better than the original. And this is one of those remakes that I feel like should be remade uh, in a 21st century thing that actually did. And what did it do well? It did a lot of things well. Like the kids are way better than this. They have fantastic chemistry with each other. They don't even feel like they're in a movie. Like you could, like if you were just like stalking them with a camera, it feels kind of like that's what will be going on. They are just so nice to each other, with the exception of Stan. Stan's underwritten, underutilized, and is easily the worst of the losers by a landslide. And I think that they really do a good job of improving some of the characters from 1990, like Eddie, vastly improved upon than he was in 20, I mean, in 1990. Uh, uh, Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise, fantastic casting. Just the way that he can physically do stuff to his body that he does is fantastic. And it, he is actually, it's kind of like the story of Heath Ledger with the fact is he debated whether or not he was going to come back for chapter two because playing Pennywise kind of took a mental toll on him, kind of how playing the Joker took a mental toll on Heath. And it's just so fantastic the way that he can do some of this stuff. And there are some scenes that are pretty frightening for some people. And this film does have the guts to murder kids, which uh, the 1990 version did too, but it didn't show anything. This film shows it. It does, believe me. And it does it in as as brutal and as graphic and gory as it can, or as, as much as it can get away with. And I do really enjoy this movie. It's a film I have a lot of fun with, and Chapter 2 partially ruined my experience with it, but I still don't hold that, this, that accountable for what Chapter 2 screwed up with. So I do have a lot of fun with this movie, and it just tells this fantastic coming-of-age story that... Uh, was not as prominent in the 1990 version, but it's much more prominent here. And uh, it's just so interesting. And getting Skarsgård in this, uh, he's just uh, like an added bonus on it. He's not in the film too much. Like, Curry is pro probably has more screen time as Pennywise than Skarsgård does in both films combined. Like, uh, so he's not always on screen much. He's more like that little guy that's kind of in the background because I think that... Pennywise is someone who works well as a as a side character and that like makes everything better and we're now getting a like spin-off show for him called Welcome to Dairy where we actually get to see like his origins or something. I have no idea what it is and I don't know what to expect. Hopefully it's not a Max original because I don't have Max anymore. So if it is, I'm going to scream because they did not need to do a Peacock original with the Continental. They just wanted to make more money or something or like seriously do not need that but i just really love this movie and it is easily easily first place in this ranking there you have it guys there's my ranking of all these all three it movies from worst to best make sure that you share your ranking in the comments below if you've seen all three movies and let me know a bit about them down below. Do you love It Chapter 2? Do you hate It 2017? Do you think that the 1990 version is the best? Do you have nostalgia for it? And, like, did you grow up on the 1990 miniseries? Let me know down below, and I'll be happy to have a conversation with you about it. Love to stay in touch with my subscribers and things like that, like getting to talk to them that some of the big YouTubers don't usually do. So make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a good one.